Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your go-to source for everything renewable energy and clean technologies. Today, we are going to delve deep into an important debate within the realm of renewable energy, green hydrogen versus biofuels. Both these energy sources offer a promising solution to our ongoing climate crisis, and the choice between them often hinges on various factors, including specific application, resource availability, and existing infrastructure. Let's start by understanding what each of these energy sources entail. Green hydrogen is hydrogen produced by the process of electrolysis, where water is split into hydrogen and oxygen using an electric current. When this electric current is generated using renewable energy sources, the process results in zero carbon emissions, hence the term green hydrogen. The biggest selling point of green hydrogen is its potential to store and provide energy at scales that other energy sources can't match. When burned, hydrogen merely produces water, making it a zero emission fuel. The applications of green hydrogen span across numerous sectors, from electricity generation and heating to powering vehicles. Countries with abundant renewable resources, like wind in the North Sea or solar in the Sahara Desert, are especially primed for green hydrogen production. However, green hydrogen also faces significant challenges. For one, while the electrolysis process is simple in theory, it is energy intensive and currently expensive in practice. Most of the hydrogen produced today is gray hydrogen, made from natural gas in a process that emits large amounts of carbon dioxide. Next, we have biofuels, which are produced from organic matter or wastes. Biofuels are considered renewable as their source can be regrown, and they absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as they grow, helping to offset the emissions generated when they are burned for energy. Biofuels offer a significant advantage in that they can be used in existing engines and vehicles without significant modification. They can also be distributed using existing fuel infrastructure, which makes them a more immediately implementable solution. However, biofuels have their share of drawbacks as well. The production of biofuels, particularly those made from crops, can lead to deforestation and loss of biodiversity. There are also concerns about food security, as the use of agricultural land for energy crop production can compete with food production. Now that we have a basic understanding of both energy sources, let's look at some direct comparisons in various sectors. Transportation. In road transport, biofuels can offer immediate emission reductions in existing vehicles. Biodiesel and ethanol, for instance, can replace or be mixed with conventional diesel and petrol. However, the scope for emission reductions is limited because combustion engines, whether they burn fossil fuels or biofuels, are inherently less efficient than electric motors. Green hydrogen, on the other hand, holds promise for high-energy demanding sectors such as aviation and shipping, where biofuels and batteries fall short. Hydrogen fuel cells are also becoming a viable option for powering electric vehicles, especially for larger vehicles that require a longer range. Energy production. For power and heat generation, both green hydrogen and biofuels have potential. Biofuels can be burned to produce heat and power, and this can be done using existing power generation infrastructure. Green hydrogen can also be used to generate heat and electricity, and has the added benefit of being storable and transportable. Resource availability. The availability of resources for both green hydrogen and biofuels varies across geographical regions. Areas with high solar or wind potential are ideal for green hydrogen production. On the other hand, biofuels depend on the availability of suitable land for growing energy crops or the availability of waste streams. Infrastructure requirements. Biofuels have the edge in this regard as they can leverage existing fuel distribution infrastructure. Green hydrogen, on the other hand, would require significant new infrastructure for production, storage, and distribution. In conclusion, both green hydrogen and biofuels are critical to the transition to a sustainable energy future. The choice between them is not a binary one, and it's likely that they will both form important parts of the energy mix. However, significant investment in research and infrastructure will be needed to overcome the challenges each presents. Please, like this video, share your thoughts in the comments section, and subscribe to RenewEnergy.com to stay informed about the latest developments in renewable energy and clean technologies. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, 
including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at renewenergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.